which is now given. And they sent on their way into the moon and back walked up the stalls and gave away two lengths. Sylvan Theatre broke up well, goes straight off to the lead, and Tabazondi a second. Gentleman Joe, well enough placed. Keisha Raz committing at the outside. Guy Alexandra's midfield with Katsu. Then comes Rule of Thumb against the inside, the red and white colours. Global Ally next best, leaving to the moon and back at the rear of the field. There's eight lengths in it as they work their way towards the corner of the track with around 1,100 metres left to run. Sylvan Theatre the leader by a length and a half. Gentleman Joe sits in second, now two lengths adrift. Keisha Raz back in in third at the outside of Gentleman Joe. Katsu at the outside works hard with Ntaba Zondi and rule of thumb for company. They followed by Guy Alexander also off the course. Global Ally is one from last leaving to the moon and back at the rear as they went past the 800 metres mark and it's still Sylvan Theatre in charge by the better part of two lengths. Racing back in second is Gentleman Joe then comes Key Shiraz. Rule of thumb got a nice run against the inside. Katsu's deep into the home straights and Ntaba Zondi bang in the middle. That's in the black sleeves and white cap further back global ally to the moon and back in the bright blue and then comes Guy Alexander towards the final 400 meters Sylvan Theatre still the leader has it by about two gentlemen Joe's second rule of thumb making a run towards the far side then comes Katsu they follow by to the moon and back as they go towards the final 200 meters Sylvan Theatre rule of thumb far side making a race of it gentlemen Joe in the hunt as well Katsu and to the moon and back next with 100 meters left to run rule of thumb in front of a gentleman Joe rule of thumb just got there rule of thumb the winner from gentleman Joe Katsu ran third and then came Sylvan Theatre so the winners towards the extreme right hand side took the shortest route home had to show a bit of desire to go through a narrow gap wide enough but still had to poke his nose in there and he's done exactly that and he wins at a big price after coming back to form gradually after a layoff and will beat off number one gentleman Joe and the intentions of number nine Katsu didn't enjoy the best of trips and is probably the one to take out of this race. Race six, the play dot tab online dot zero is uh, it was run over the sixteen hundred meters, a class four event. Well done to Nkosi. He's the man who looks after number seven rule of thumb, the uh, son of uh, Royal Mo who come ho came home victorious. So thank you to him. He receives his thousand rand. Uh, thank you to Hollywood Bets and also Cape Racing. The jockey board rule of thumb was uh, Craig Bantam who uh, managed to get the better of the field, coming down the inside for a clear run. Craig, well done for the win. Thank you, Vicky. He's a nice big horse, and uh, did he enjoy that run off the, on, the, on the rail? Yes, um, when I saw uh, what I found myself in a nice position, and I was so happy, and I'm just glad that Mr. Snade kept me on this horse because I rode him from his comeback run, and then his last run was an absolute good run. I should have run a little bit closer, but I was a little bit far out of my crown, but today I had a nice position, and he actually found that split on the rail. It, the gap was a little bit tight, but he actually gave me a nice burst through and he won a good race. Well done. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to the whole Justin Snake team, to Jono as well, and to the owners and to my sponsor, Turf Talk. Well done, Craig. Thank you. Next up, uh, Justin Snake, the conditioner of number seven, rule of thumb. And uh, Justin, well done for the win. Yeah, this is a very um, incredible win, to be honest. I want to show you a picture. This is rule of thumb, and this is what is still in his leg. Can you zoom in? Okay, if you I'll show you, they'll, you can, no, they'll zoom yeah. in. So that's quite incredible. So the recommendation was to, to he, he kicked something and he hurt himself, and the recommendation was to put him down. And as you know, we, we, we do love our horses, and uh, no owner more than Andrew Brand. He's just... Uh, he actually persists too long with some horses that aren't maybe too good. He's that type of owner, and eventually they win a work riders race or something. So I thank Andrew um, for letting us go through all of this, and to Andrew Gray who did the operation. Um, it was one of those operations where you you normally um, it's it's obviously a horse's size and their weight that they put on their legs that you put those those pins in to to hold the bone together, and as soon as they get up and put the foot down, normally it goes. So we're very fortunate with him that it didn't, and. We persevered, and uh, it's just fantastic to see him win a race. So it just shows any person wanting to put that horse down, give him a chance, because here we are. And he's, he's shown us that um, he can still win a race with, when everything had gone wrong. To Craig, um, really well done. He's one of those few jockeys that have made the effort to the, 
southern suburbs. They all live in Jockeyville in the northern parts of uh, Cape Town, so it's nice when a jockey makes that little effort to come down and we can reward him with a winner. And to um, Clava Flay Royal Mo, well done. Well done, Justin. Great, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Next up, uh, the soldier of the sport is Justin dubbed you. Well done for the win. Thanks, Vicky. Yeah, uh, just a brilliant uh, training feat uh, to, you know, to Justin and his team. Um, they have been so patient. He had another setback after he came back. And they're just so diligent in kind of looking after him and making sure that he's all fine. And uh, they did an amazing job and I uh, couldn't be prouder. He's just such a lovely horse. He is a beautiful individual too. You know, pre-race I spotted him and, I, and even in the winner's box, calm, relaxed. He's a, he must be a horse to, to, that you thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, 100%. And he, you know, he started off his career really well, had that injury. And um, yeah, we were kind of obviously very concerned. But he's, he's, there's a quality about him. And I think he's, he's not going to stop here. I think he's got a couple more left in there. And he's a, a beautiful horse. And, and I really want to call out the ride today. I thought uh, you know, Craig doesn't get a lot of rides. And I think he, you know, he, he just showed today he's got quality as a, as a jockey. He positioned him beautifully. And, and he's got good hands. He just saw it through really nicely. So well done to him. Absolutely. And well done to you. Thank you very much. There you go. And uh, thank you very much for that. And also equally, uh, John Snaith, also a partner involved in number seven, Rule of Thumb, son of Royal Mo. Well done to Clava Flestad for breeding. An incredible story. And it just shows that uh, the love goes far and wide for these uh, incredible athletes. So the runner-up for third place was uh, went to Katsu. And uh, rider aboard was Gareth Wright, who MJ is going to have a chat to. Yeah, thanks, Vicky. Uh, Gareth Rice getting a lot of airtime today. Katsu, Gareth a bit unlucky from the draw, never got in and he ran a good race. Yes, um, as you said, he's a horse that will stay probably all day. So I had to be positive from that draw. He didn't have the, a lot of gate speed. So I didn't want to just tuck him in and, and break his action once he gets going. So I opted to stay out there and try to get lucky. And, you know, sometimes you get caught out wide, but he was in a good rhythm. I didn't panic. I left him at his, at his uh, speed he was going. And, as we straightened up, he pulled me on, onto those leaders and he didn't stop. He fought right to the end. So it was a game run and I think looking for 2000. So going forward, uh, he's one to watch. Gareth, thanks very much for your time. Gareth Raj having a good day here. Ran third on Kat Katsu, ran an absolute cracking race into third. We're going to go to the replay of race six, Hollywood Bitch, Durnville. 